Here in the heart of downtown McAllister, longtime locals have known this building as a jewelry store, but nowadays it holds a different sort of sparkle. It seems everything that occupies this historic 1901 building is destined to be a gem. It has the curved glass front windows and has the original vaults in it that we've converted into the wine safes and um, it just has a lot of history and um, everybody remembers it being a jewelry store. And though this building's persona as a winery is a new one, Winemaking is not at all new to this family. Our family's been making wine for five generations. Uh, my grandmother, uh, her parents actually started the wine business in Germany and uh, the winery still exists today. It's located on the Rhine River. Just as most families pass down food recipes, Karen inherited her family's recipes for winemaking. And for as long as anyone can remember, they've made barrels of the stuff simply for themselves without sharing until recently. Last year we entered our wines in state competitions and won four gold and four silver medals and you know we were scratching our heads going well you know maybe we ought to think about selling this stuff. <laughs> now husband Bob and older son Doug are the winemakers while younger son Dylan shrink caps the bottles. Bottles which by the way are a work of art. We have a local artist that actually designed and painted the uh, watercolor scissor tail that's on our label, which we're extremely proud of. Inside those beautiful bottles are a collection of handcrafted wines, three reds and three whites, including a signature wine named simply Whisper, a delicious compliment to the region's Italian cuisine. It's a Barolo style wine, which is uh, similar to a Chianti, but a very smooth, light finish. But everybody has their favorites. I like the Syrahs as a red wine, and I love the Pinot Grigio that they make. It's a really nice white wine. And people love just being here. It's friendly. You feel that you've been here for years the first time you walk in the door. And it's really nice, it's cozy. People have the whole experience of tasting the foods, tasting the wine, and then shopping while they're here. The cheeses, the pesto, um, the pickled asparagus and green beans. <laughs> this is just such a delightful place. Though this storefront in downtown McAllister no longer displays diamonds and gold, this former jewelry store today holds something perhaps more precious, a glimpse at history, a family legacy, and just the right ambience for sparking new and lasting friendships. At Whispering Meadows Winery in McAllister, I'm Shell Wagner.